Welcome to Fakin' It. I'm Cookie, and I can already tell who the bad liar in this group is going to be. Couple quick words before we jump into the game. And yes, skipping is an option. During each round of play, each of you is going to be sent a task to your device. Like, raise your hand if you've ever farted. But one of you will get nothing. And that person is the faker. Everyone wants to figure out who the faker is, and the faker just wants to blend in. When you hear the ghost sound, you either raise your hand or not, depending on whether you've ever farted before, which you have. And the faker just has to fake it. After that, everyone votes on their device who they think the faker is. If everyone picks the correct person, the faker is caught. But here's the most important part. Fakers, if you're caught in a lie, if you raise your hand when you really should have kept it down, lie, cheat, deny, come up with whatever story you have to to throw other players off the scent. Be the faker. Some of the tasks will involve raising your hand, or pointing, or maybe making a weird face. But there will always be a faker, and you'll have three chances to catch him. Oh, one more quick suggestion before we get going. It's important to be able to see each other, so if possible, consider sitting in a semicircle or like small lines facing each other. Whatever works best while still feeling comfortable. Let's start with Hands of Truth. It's an easy one, just like we saw a minute ago. Everyone's gonna get a task that involves raising your hand. Okay, sending the task to your devices now. This was the task. Raise your hand if you read all the Harry Potter books. Vote for who you think seems like the faker. You can change your vote if you change your mind, by the way. <laughs> the faker can only be caught if the vote is unanimous. So do your best to come to a group consensus. You get two more chances to catch that faker. Everybody voted for... Well, at least you were all wrong together. <laughs> this is your last chance to catch the faker. The vote's singled out. Yep, you found the faker. Better late than never. And what will our next task category be? Use your device to pick which type of task you'll all do together. It's going to be... You got a point. Everyone's going to get a task that involves pointing at another player in the game. Okay, sending the task to your devices now. And the task was... Point at the person you would most want to share a two-person horse costume with. Vote for the faker now. Okay, time to pick the next category. Use your device to choose which type of tasks. Number pressure. Everyone's going to get a task that involves holding up a number of fingers, probably from 1 to 10. Okay, sending the task to your devices now. And the task, hold up as many fingers as years it's been since you've been to the dentist. Alright, vote for who you think the faker is. Alright, what category do we want to do next? Use your device to pick which type of task. Face value. Everyone's going to get a task that involves making some kind of facial expression. Maybe a weird one. Okay, sending the task to your devices now. The task was, make the face you'd have if your job relocated you to Cleveland. Vote for who you suspect is the faker. Okay, it's time for the last round. 
text you up. I've sent three questions to each of your devices. Type in your answers for all three and then hit send. Now the faker has three questions to answer too. They just have slightly different questions than everyone else. So good luck, faker. Let's see everyone's answers to the first text task. If you had your own TV show, the network it would most likely be on. Vote for who you think seems like the faker. Everyone suspects you all ganged up on the wrong person. You get two more chances to catch that faker. And everyone voted for... You found the faker. Finally. 